Hello everyone, it's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hello, YK in the building. Yo, 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 good morning. I guess we all got the memo today. Touch of black. Okay. Yeah. A touch of black? Okay. Yeah. Where's your own black? I'm it's black. Our wife is all over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're looking for your own black because I can't see it here. Uh, I, I can't man. see your own. Now you can see small, small black. Uh, I can see. So uh, that, that's not a touch of black. Uh, okay, the back. Okay, I just see the back. Again. I'm fine. I'm fine. So you finished I your do? cake? My what? Your cake. cakes. Cakes. You finished your cakes. <laughs> I, I, well, I didn't eat everything myself, yeah, you know. I know you I, sent I, some over, but you know. We yeah. thought you'd bring some over for us, but... Ah, I, I'll bring them tomorrow. Uh, it's been nice. I, I'll, I'll bring taste tomorrow. taste YK's cake. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. You've been, you know, you've been healthy and working out. Yeah, you know, wondering how you're going to cope with I, I, the cake. I hardly had cake. Uh -huh, I, I had good. very little. Means very I didn't, little. I didn't even eat at all for my kid's birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not... Hi, YK. Any, any, any gist for us? I haven't got... You know, I remember I don't gist. I've now forgotten it, so let me just... Oh, man. Hold and my you stopped your thoughts. No, 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 no. <laughs> I even forgot it before I got oh, here. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> but you just knew that too you had it. Too much on my just... mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I love your outfit today. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yours is not too bad. I, thank actually, you. yesterday I thought you looked. Yeah, oh, thank the orange you. That's, wow. I thought you looked really that nice. That outfit was really nice. Yeah. That color does wonders yeah. for dark skin. In you fact, you all looked really nice yesterday. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you know me. I'm. We actually did into fashion, and yes. I like. So I liked what all of us. I thought you all looked really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Mariam? Anything interesting? Um, hi, well, yesterday was Children's Day. Um, we couldn't get the cake my kids wanted because of <coughs> the traffic. My God, I don't know, are we in a lockdown or not? <laughs> it's like back anyway, to normal, right? There's so totally. much traffic. And then, so we got them pizzas and stuff like that. But it had to be, I mean, it was sent, ordered, right? And they offered me everything. And I was so proud of myself. I just didn't even feel like eating anything. Hey, for and, real? And I let it go. Oh my goodness. Yes, I, I could really not handle that kind of temptation. <laughs> what? Pizzas, especially the cheesy ones. I love cheesy oh. pizzas. Oh, Lord. If you oh. know the amount of fat that a pizza has, you will never touch it again. Uh -huh. But cheese is good for you, I, right? I actually, like I, I actually saw a video of how much fat, if you eat pizzas every day, Yeah. For 365 days, how much fat will no, come out of it? No, of course. Any that, that's, 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 stuff for them to eat. You know, there's um, those things with the biscuits, cookies, mm -hmm. like nice um, children's day pack oh. in a Ziploc, the big Ziploc. I mean, I was really oh, impressed. Thank so you so cute. much, Auntie Martha. All, in fact, even the baby too. God. You, in fact, <laughs> they're all eating all the chips, all the cookies, sweets. How old is the baby now? He's 16 months. He has teeth. Yo, he has, he got eight teeth. <laughs> and trust me, he's eating everything. <laughs> eight. <laughs> he has eight and he's eating everything. Cool, cool. Yes. So it's Thursday. We have just all the way, but first, let's go through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, we're going to start with the punch this morning. FG can't cope with increasing coronavirus cases, says Minister. 21 states have fewer than 100 beds each day's PTF. Police torture man to death over friend's offense, detained corpse. Seven killed that struck car crash in, in Lomri Jeba Road. Uh, Eze Yamu emerges a Shomali faction APC camp and Obaseki kicks. I have never violated any process in Africa Development Bank, says Adishina. And uh, reps clash as Pana reports blames Nigerians in China. Churches may reopen in June, says Khan. Okay, lots of stories here. Do we, who has a human interest story? Right yes, that? Yeah. That, that was a very sad story. The guy, the police came and took him away March 26th and they um, locked him up. They told his wife to come and bail him the next day. She, when she got there, she secured all the uh, bail, detail, conditions. Yeah, bail conditions and then they said they were not releasing him. Mm. She went home. After a few days, they went back to look for him. He wasn't there. They said they had moved him to Obada 
police station, same oil state. They went to look for him there. They said they have moved him to Lagos. From Lagos, they said they'd moved him to Ayobo. Right. From there, they said they'd moved him to Abu. Anyway, eventually, hmm. they now say he's an armed robber. Oh, Lord. They, they had first detained him because they said they wanted him to, to use him to get to his friend, mm. one Boson. And so they said once they see Boson, they will release him. Release again. When they finally met with the commander, the commander said, eh, your husband, your brother, is there, he's an armed robber now. And sorry, but he's dead. Oh, my goodness. And they were like, eh? No trial, no nothing. He's dead. Okay, give us his corpse. They said they can't give them his corpse. So the, the family are now begging that, please, help us cry out. Hey, that's <sighs> a serious injustice. This is serious thing. injustice. <sighs> you cannot kill somebody. He's not an armed robber. What, what, what I guess Nigeria you haven't heard anything country. from the police. Um, they said right they tried to call the police. They sent um, Frank Kumba a text. Yes. He didn't reply. I'm sure he'll, we, we, we can okay. follow up with Frank mm -hmm. Obama because he's a friend of the house and he's somebody that we know that he would, when he sees something like this, he will we'll check, check it out up. and um, we'll definitely follow up with that story. That's a very, very, very sad story. It's a very story. sad story. Yeah. He has an electrician. More. So he was the, an electrician. Yeah. Mm. So reps uh, had set up a committee, a panel, to look into the maltreatment of Nigerians in China, especially during that period where there was lockdown in China, the coronavirus lockdown in Wuhan. And from the report, it seemed that a lot of the blame was put on Nigerians. They said because of the lockdown in Wuhan, it exposed many Nigerians who were living there without papers. Yes. And so they were forced, the illegal immigrants were forced to get themselves hotels and pay for their accommodation. Right. And uh, also there were so many unruly Nigerians who were trying to flout the guidelines for you mm. know, the lockdown during Wuhan. Um, during the corona, um, in Wuhan at that time. But many rap members are saying this is really unfair. Why is it that every time that we always blame our people? After all, Chinese people live here. They do a lot of things, but there's never a case where they are being mistreated. Mm. And so they are going back and forth on okay, how let's, to let's deal move with on. this. Taking enough time, on, I was going to take on that story, but let's move on. Federal government moves to reopen schools to release safety guidelines, adopts two-shift system. Uh, Majorai... Uh, Dangote opens up on influx of, um, to southeast. Edo Ondo Guba, APC governors back Obaseki and Ekeridolu. Senate Akwabio at war over NDDC probe. Additional says, I have not resigned. And COVID-19, three local drugs pass first test. Okay, the Almajari story, Dangote is saying, because um, he was accused actually by Ohanes in the world that his trucks are the ones bringing in these Amajara into the southeastern states. And he said he has, he's, he's not aware of these. And the trucks are actually supposed to get in raw materials from state to state. That, um, if the, that the, first of all, he, of course, he apologized. Our uncle always apologizes. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he now says that they should send pictures of the trucks, the, the plate numbers, and all the details. And they can then follow up on the trucks because that's not what they were supposed to be mm. meant to do. OK, moving on. There's any story in Sun? Uh, uh, let's move on. I think maybe we'll take it in punch in nation. Okay. The let's talk about the school opening. reopening. Yes. Yeah, the, okay, the, I'm take it. Okay. The, the school opening. You want to take it? Okay. So um, the uh, head of Boss Mustafa, the head of our <laughs> the, the head of the tax force yes. on COVID and everything, had a, uh, gave a speech and was saying that uh, there's a date that people have been um, throwing around June fifth for when schools are supposed to reopen. And he says, please, that is fake. But that they will, they are looking into reopening schools, but until these schools, until it is safe, and they also make sure that these schools are well prepared to right. receive the students. And also they are thinking of morning school hours versus afternoon school hours. So like junior secondary school may come in the morning, senior secondary school may come in the afternoon. They are looking to do that for primary school as well, just to maintain the physical distancing. Mm, right. So that these are plans that they're looking at. Until. And in a, in a related story, Khan is also working closely with the federal government to see how churches can also reopen. Yes, they are thinking first Sunday in June, nothing specific yet, but they are still working on decontaminating the churches, making sure social distancing. Of our business is true. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Wait, well, I'm sure. Sh well, Shrine, I don't know about Shrine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know I think, yeah, I think what, what I heard yeah, the governor say is that come forward and let us know the guidelines you plan to put in place. 
and then you can get some. I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is, but I think if you if you approach the government, if they say that because me, I've already gone to check for um, this. What do you call it? The contaminating yeah. thing. When you walk in, it will spray your body. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, right. you know, yeah. so I, yeah, and it's going to cost. I don't want to buy it unless I know they're going to open right, the right. business. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you, we'll, we'll, we'll get the news on that. Let's move on to Vanguard intrigues as Eze Yamu emerges to tackle Obaseki. Governor Matawale declares Amfara a Marjorie state. Barry Lords and Mechi's role in APC's victory in 2015 and 2019. I didn't violate African Development Bank's code of ethics is additional. PTF approves three potential coronavirus herbal cures for validation. Okay, which stories are we taking here? Let's start with uh, Zamfara State. Okay, so Zamfara, the um, governor of Zamfara is saying that um, his state is an Almajere state, meaning that uh, the plans he had to repatriate them to their various states of origin have been, you know, closed. He has decided that his state will accept all Almajere's from different parts of the country because he wants to take away that stigmatization that comes from being an Almajiri and also give them a sense of belonging, especially in this time where everyone is just sending them away. And he's saying that the, what he's going to do going forward is make sure that if you, an Almajiri also gets Western education. So I'll just link this up with in Kano State. In Kano State, they have sent back over a thousand um, Almajiri back to their states of origin. They have 1,000 that has been sent to them. 29 of them um, tested positive for COVID. The governor has so sort of, they said abolished traditional Almajiri system. So meaning that within the state, these Almajiris will get um, Western education as well. They will be properly schooled. But I think that moving from state to state is what he's talking about um, mm. stopping. Yeah. Mm. I just hope that they're not just pay paying lip service and they actually um, put Do this kids yes. into schools mm -hmm. and stop moving them up and down. Mm -hmm. I think it's honorable that the Zamfara state right. governor has yeah. declared yeah. his own state a place where they can all okay. go. And just yeah. one more thing, the governor of Kano State also commended the people of Kano State for the way they conducted themselves during the Eid. Mm. He said they um, followed the guidelines and he's happy. To add to that story, I know that he also said that they're going to combine the Western education and the Islamic, yeah, you said that, right, sorry, yeah. I missed that part. <laughs> okay, there's a second story I want to take in Vanguard, which is the additional story. Mm. Um, it says that he didn't validate the African Development uh, Code to, uh, of, of ethics. I remember he was under investigation by the United States government, yeah. uh, although he was actually, um, um, he was seen as, uh, the allegations were thrown out based on the ethics committee within African Development Bank, mm. headed by a Japanese uh, 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 Japanese committee. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the point, of, he, he's now saying that he maintains his innocence concerning the trumped up allegations that unjustly seek to impugn his honor and in integrity and that all the leaders he's working under or working for have shown, um, um, they, they've shown him um, that he has actually been, uh, uh, he has worked hard and yeah. uh, so far in, in his tenure. Yes. Yes, someone also that they had spoken to made a statement that he said that uh, Mr. Adishina introduced very far-reaching um, reforms, right. especially when it comes to ag the agricultural sector in Africa, mm. which would reduce Africa's reliance on, mm. you know, right. foreign America. could reduce Africa's reliance on, mm. you know, right. foreign America. countries, right. especially right. America, and that that may be the political mm. reason that's, why, that's why they are saying, proving yeah. him. Mm. Mm. America is... The, the, anything that is for the progress of Africa, America yeah. will not like. Where we well, let's wait to the investigation. Let's let's not just where? conclude until our the show. investigation was concluded. And there, there's going to be there's a new independent investigation. Yes, investigation. So let's wait for the news. Support our people. We are supporting <laughs> the global final paper. The nation process to reopen schools. We talked about that already. Let's find a story we've not taken. Uh, additional okay. very short one. Wrongly jailed Nigerian gets ten million dollar compensation. That one. Yes. Okay. He, he was wrongly jailed. He spent fifteen out of the eighteen years that they gave him, so he sued and he's got $10 million compensation. Yes, his name is so Tony Ugochuku. He was, yes. he was accused of murder. Yeah, he was, uh, yeah, I was yeah. about to say that he was accused of murder. But I heard a different part of so, but not in the papers. Okay. He said that, that he's not Nigerian anyway, we'll see. Tony Ugochuku is the Nigerian yeah. name. Yeah. His name is Tony Ugochuku. Maybe there's another one, Is a 37 year. Okay, that, that so that's the picture 37. that is wrong, that they've been showing around. That's 15 that he's years he spent in jail. Yes, another that person. $10 million is not even enough. <laughs> give me one dollar for That's me. all we can take. <laughs> when we come back, we engage representatives from Friesland, I mean uh, Wamco. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. World Milk Day was initiated in 2001 by United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, which actively encourages milk and dairy consumption as part of the daily diet. All aspects of milk are celebrated in many countries all over the world, and the number of countries and activities are increasing every year. Joining us on the show today is the nutrition manager, Friesland Campina Guamco, and Ade Dotsun Uwulabi, the chairman, Nutrition Society of Nigeria, Lagos chapter, Dr. Tosun Adu. Well, gentlemen, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much Thank for you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to be starting with um, the first question. Why exactly? Um, tell us about this World Milk Day. And what is it about and what exactly you're doing this year to celebrate it? Uh, thank you very much. It's important that we, we, we understand that uh, milk is an important part of a healthy, balanced, balanced diet, at least for the billions of people around the world and for the grow, growing population uh, around the world. Uh, world Milk Day provides the perfect opportunity, actually, to spread the, the good news of nature's best gift, which is milk. Uh, it's also a very good source of income for of livelihoods and uh, to communities and to a lot of people around the world who depend on it. Uh, so the World Big Day is about bringing attention of the people to the product itself and raise awareness on the importance of dairy uh, for food production and healthy diets. Uh, for Friesland Campina Wamco, we had the pioneers of uh, dairy development programs in Nigeria. Mm. And we find it mm. important to spread our good news, our message of glass, of graft glass, uh, because it's, um, I, I think we need to understand that this whole process starts from the grass and it has enhanced up in the, in the, in the, in the cup. Uh, and here we are increasing the quality and the quantity of raw materials, of uh, raw milk as well in Nigeria uh, through these programs. We are therefore using World Milk Day platform to convene uh, the importance of dairy to the population, to the public, by promoting the exciting activities to celebrate right. uh, the day with right. experience. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, why, why breakfast? What's the link between milk and breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> breakfast is very, is, uh, I'm sure everybody is aware that uh, we say breakfast is uh, the most important meal of the day. Uh, if you take a very healthy breakfast in the morning, it's probably enough to also take you through your daily activities on uh, uh, on uh, whatever business you do, uh, school children and everybody. But uh, to have a healthy breakfast also is very is a, it could be very expensive. And so what we say is one of the cheapest and one of the most affordable ways to get a healthy breakfast is to make sure you add dairy to your product. And why dairy? Because dairy contains uh, complete nutrients uh, that can support healthy diets, uh, yeah. growth and development of human beings. So you're saying, so so you saying if I eat yam and egg in the morning, I should drink a glass of milk? <laughs> yes, you should indeed, because oh, um, yes. it, is, it is very difficult to get all the nutrients together in one, in one plate. Uh, but a uh, few, few, few products in the world have most, most, most of the nutrients that you need for the day in one glass of milk. And okay. so that's very important. If you, take a, if you take yam, you don't have all the nutrients in yam. Yeah. Uh, you need a, a glass of milk as well to complement it. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so World Milk Day, we'll just take you back. Usually when there's a celebration like that, there's a theme and there's a specific message people like to send out. So what is the specific theme or message for this year? Yeah, so what, uh, globally, the campaign this year advocates that we enjoy dairy. So the hashtag is dairy, so if, uh, Nigerians can follow the hashtag enjoy dairy. Uh, you can follow the conversation on the goodness of dairy around the world, enjoy dairy. In addition to this, and in the spirit of helping Nigerians reach for their peak, what we are also doing as an organization is to try to emphasize the importance of nourishing breakfast 
So that's why we are talking more about breakfast. Uh, everybody should try and take breakfast. We know people don't usually take breakfast in Nigeria uh, because of uh, because of the heli waking up in the morning right. to rush down to the office right. and all of that. Uh, right. But what we say is that uh, in the bit of all of this, what you should try to do is to grab uh, a quick fix. Uh, it could be a pop with milk. It could be some cereals with milk. Uh, just make sure that you had peak milk right. to your breakfast. Area. All right, let me talk to Dr. Tony yeah. do for a moment. Dr. Tony, are you there? I know you're the chairman, Nutrition Society of yeah. Nigeria. But some people don't yes. like taking milk because they feel it makes them fat throughout the day. <laughs> How do we, I mean, do you, do you think milk is a good idea to have every single day? Yes, uh, milk, milk is important. Okay. Now, milk, milk will not make you fat. You're getting fat or not getting fat is a combination of so many okay. things. You know, your lifestyle, your activity. So, but we're saying that milk is good because it contains enough protein. It's a rich, it's a nutrient dense food. It contains protein, it contains a lot of other uh, micronutrients, you know, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, you know, it, it's even, it, it also contains vitamin A. And all of these will help you to be healthy. So taking, it has not been proven that taking milk makes one fat. Okay. Right, no. so having milk, as part of your as part of your daily uh, uh, diet does not in any way make you fatter than you should. <laughs> you missed her question. Actually, she meant break wind. Yeah. She meant uh, okay. milk makes people some people break wind. Flatulence is what she's talking about. Flatulence. Oh, break, break wind. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. No, no, now, now, of course, protein, uh, uh, milk is rich in protein. And, you know, the way we take it, of course, taking it in one gulp and all of this, there are so many factors that affect uh, breaking wind, digestibility, you know, and all. So if we don't take it so fast, you know, it takes time, it makes it easier for it to, to be taken in easily. So, but it doesn't have anything to do with breaking wind or no breaking wind. Right. Just like they will tell you that if you take a lot of uh, things also, you break wind. It's a function of so many things okay. in the intestine. Uh, yeah, is it even a good thing? Is it even a good thing? There's, some, there's something that is being said regularly in many Nigerian homes, which is uh, as an adult, oh, the milk is for the children not for the adults. Okay. So is there an age where you stop needing milk? No, 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 no. There's no age where you need stop needing milk. From, from cre cre cradle to the grave, if I, if you permit me to say that, milk is, is good for everyone. It's Great. good for everyone. Great. For everyone. Let me come to... In fact, it is it's recommended, it's recommended that children should take like two to two and a half cups, you know, of, uh, of milk, you know, what about adults? And adults take, adults should take about three cups oh, of milk per day. And children. this can be spread. You know, you don't have to take the three cups, you know, at one sitting. It can be spread, you know, throughout the day. Wow. Interesting. I actually love milk. Yeah. I love to drink milk, Don't actually. we all? Don't we all love milk? <laughs> <laughs> Let me come to um, Mr. Adedotu. Now, what's your, what's your message? And so the, the grass to the glass campaign, obviously, is very ingenious. I'd like to even know how you guys came about that grass to glass idea. Okay. Who thought of it? It sounds, and that's one question. Second question, I always see foreign cows. They look so beautiful and you want to squeeze <laughs> the milk and just drink. The Nigerian cows here don't look that interesting. Now. And you just think to yourself, like, how is that process? Is it interesting here? I mean, are the cows that fat? How do you guys process that milk? Tell us, can you just give us a few tips on that? Yeah, thank you so much for that question. <laughs> Uh, so, so indeed, uh, the, 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 the grass to glass uh, campaign, and uh, it's a Friesland campaign, it's exclusive to Friesland campaign, I mean, because we, we control the value chain from, from the farm to, the, wow. to, the, to, the, to your wow. table. Okay. Uh, Friesland campaign is one of the few companies in the world that have control of all the processes that uh, as into, that's involved in the production of milk. Uh, so that's where we have that's where we have the idea of the glass of the grass to glass. Oh, great! Uh, and then on your question on the dairy development program, yes, indeed, uh, indeed, <laughs> the, the 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 cows abroad looks very beautiful, and uh, you always want to be stunned by, by by them. 
And what do we do as an organization to, to also emulate this and bring this to Nigeria? We have a couple of uh, cooperative farmers we work with in Nigeria. Uh, right now, we started this process some few years ago. Now, we started this process some few years ago, and then we have over, over 8,500 farmers we work with in Nigeria, dairy farmers we work with in Nigeria. Nice. We have our dairy wow. development programs in Oshun State, in mm -hmm. Oyo State, uh, and in Kwara State. And right now, the federal government already gave us a go ahead and permission to start one also in, in, in the north. So we already started one also in the north. We have a very land, very a huge uh, land, uh, land mass, which we are currently cultivating and we are already uh, building up a couple of uh, uh, structures. So you are saying if we see those cows program. now, we would like those cows. So you are saying if we see those cows uh, now, we would like those cows. Morai, we want to squeeze. I'm very sure you would like those cows. You like those, cows. those cows because what we also do is that we, we bring services from Fisla Campina in the okay. Netherlands to Nigeria, to the farmers in Nigeria, where we help them with the with the with the veterinary activities and services for their for their, for their farm uh, and cows as well. We have to run. So I'm up. sure you will like them when you see them. Okay, <laughs> we have to run over. What's your final message to Nigerians on this campaign? What's your final message? Yeah, I am a nutritionist, and uh, judge, I'm sure Dr. Adu will agree with me that uh, it is very very important that Nigerians grab healthy breakfast every day, and and going forward because. Breakfast has a way of affecting your day. And so it has a way of influencing your day. And so you just don't get a breakfast, just get a healthy breakfast. Make sure you have pig milk to your breakfast. Thank you so much. Um, Dr. Adu, would you like to add anything, final words to us? Oh, yes. Uh, just to say that healthy breakfast is very important. And milk being a part of it makes it, makes it healthy. Fantastic. So we're going to just encourage Nigerians, ensure that you take breakfast it's very important Fantastic. and uh, dairy can be part of it of course big milk uh is also is is very very good for you to take with your bath take it with your oats you know, right. and, uh, thank you so much sir thank you gentlemen for saying us enjoy this enjoy enjoy milk All enjoy right. milk thank <laughs> you we've been speaking with the nutrition manager fries and campaigner wamko Adi Dotsu Owolabi and the Chairman of Nutrition Society of Nigeria, Lagos Chapter, Dr. Tosin Adu. We're going to break. Stay with us. Don't go, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So Thursday, we go online and get topics and, you know, information and bring it to you to have a conversation about. So there is this story we heard about a lady who was preparing for her wedding. Unfortunately, the pandemic started. Her husband to be up there for a low-key wedding during this period. But the lady unfortunately refused because she felt, you know what, we planned so much. They've done our B, they've um, paid for stuff, and it's, it's about time for at least we should wait for after the pandemic. The husband began to gradually lose interest in this union. And then we ask, what effect is corona pandemic having on events, families, parties, weddings, um, even burials? Hmm. Um, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 070-806-68014. We can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweet. And today we'd like to speak to people who are facing this um, challenge at this time because many of you had planned your wedding. So for two whole months, hmm. all that you had planned has practically um, it, it was actually put on hold. So your actual bees, uh, the, what, what you paid to the caterers, all that stuff. Now, some people are saying, just do your online wedding now, move on. Others are saying, no, you can't do an online wedding because that means you can't even begin to do the do in the marriage because it's not a real marriage. <laughs> Others are saying, wait till after the pandemic to have a proper party. What do you think? I mean, a lot of people are going through this right now. What would you, how would you like a, a, to? A lot of people are going through. I know uh, Mr. Tai, my driver, he had um, planned his son's wedding. His own date was, I think, April 15th or so. Wow. wow. Right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of April. And then the thing started. And so I called him. He says, ah, he's going to postpone it till May. 
and look at me, it's almost over, over. nothing like. Yeah. So I'm just wondering how, because he had planned it, and they're going to get married in somewhere in Ubu State, you know. Wow. Then um, my former sister-in-law, Funke, her sister was getting married as well. She had, Funke had paid for the caterers, paid for the food, I mean, she, okay, caterer and food, paid the, for the event, mm, everything. Entertainment. She said the only thing she hadn't done was the drinks. Oh my lord! Here they are. Now. And now, so what are they doing? So what are they doing? They planning to after the pandemic or? I don't know. I haven't asked her what she is planning to do. Wow. I haven't asked her what she's planning to do, but, but in I this know story that we read. The the man is now feeling that. I mean, that's a different angle, though. The man is now feeling like you know what? Maybe we shouldn't even bother because he got somebody else's pre pregnant, or or he just feels like you know what? Let's just let's just that's move. A whole on. different. So angle. that's a whole different angle. But the point is that I would like us to stay on the angle of. Okay. Okay. how the pandemic is affecting our plans and what we plan to do afterwards. And I'd like to take um, some calls on this. Mariam. Okay, so for me, you know how we always say man proposes, God disposes, but we just never believe it because you still wake up in the morning and still life continues until pandemic happened. And, you know, those words have become really true for a lot of people in their homes. So for me personally, I think, and I think I've said it since the beginning of this lockdown that um, this period has allowed for most of us to understand what is most important in our lives. So the wedding, what is more important in the wedding? Is it the union of these two people or the party that they have to have and the guests that they have to have and the money that they have to spend on all these things? So for me, it can be separated. You can go ahead and have your union, have the pastor pray over you or whoever, or at the registry, do that. And then after this is all over, have the sort of party that you want. I saw a beautiful couple have a Zoom party and one of the gifts that they got was there's this particular um, um, singer that she had always admired who had heard that her wedding had to be stopped because of you know, the, the pandemic and decided to sing for her on her wedding day via Zoom. So for me, that is most important. And then the family can go on and begin living together. So I understand his irritation that, and for me, I guess the man will question what this person's values are, what their priorities are. Like, if you really think that a wedding is much more important than us just going ahead, having something small and starting our, our life together, are you really the sort of person, you know, I want to be with going forward? If bigger issues come up, what side of hmm. okay, that's you another follow? Angle. So that's Let, how I see that's, that, that, that's an interesting angle. Let's step to um, Titus, are you there? Yes, hello. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Welcome to Thank the show. You. To my own uh, experience, what I say about wedding is a blessing from the pastor. All this uh, ceremony, uh, uh, this and this and this, I think all those ones are not, not too much necessary. The blessing of the pastor is most important about wedding. That is my own opinion. Mm. But many, you know, many, many brides don't want to have this pandemic memory for their wedding at all. You know, they want to see five, ten years. You want to feel like on that day, that white, that white wedding thing, you walk either. down the aisle. You just want that memory. Can but I? The Zoom thing doesn't give you that. And you just feel like, Ugh. Can I say something? Right. If you are pregnant and you have your baby during pandemic, are you don't, going to... Don't give birth uh, to the baby. Are you, are you going to say <laughs> Let's you wait. hold the baby inside the room <laughs> till after pandemic? You will give birth and exactly. your baby will be called Koro... Baby. Koro, Koro baby. Right. Koro whatever. But... You, you, you will always have that memory that ah, you went to the hospital, you were scared, you didn't want to. Uh, uh, my granddaughter was born just before the pandemic. Yeah. Now. Can you imagine? I can't see her now because of, of, of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to just move on. And you see, I think our values in this country are very misplaced. Yeah. Um, th these weddings, they're really not for the couple. They are for the parents of the couple. I know at, of at least three couples who the parents gave them a fantastic beautiful wedding i asked each of In them short term. they said they didn't want that they would have preferred that money to go and start their lives yeah. hmm. i did the same thing for my daughter hmm. i blew for her name is her, um, <laughs> her traditional marriage. I did the yes. war. Ah, it's really for lockdown. you. We're, we're there. Ah, <laughs> at the end of the day, was it really for my daughter? Because my daughter is an introvert. Her husband is an introvert. That wedding was for me. Ah, <laughs> So 
I think if you know that you are inside this matter, matter to marry yourself, go just marry. quickly tell your parents that, see that money, transfer it to my account. Go to the registry, if the registry is open, and quickly do something. Once the pandemic is over, go on holiday. And you know Go and enjoy your life somewhere. Fantastic. Mm. Let me take I this call from okay. Kule. I'll come to you, Mariam. Kule, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. I'm Thanks for calling. Caller. Welcome to the show, Kule. Yeah, what I want to say is, is that concerning the wedding aspect, the, the pastor's um, lesson is the most very important thing. Then one other thing is that because the lady has attended so much of his friend's wedding, so that is why she wants to yes. do his own weddings like that. And one thing I observe again is she, she, she's going to be a lady that, that she won't have, um, and she won't be able to endure. That's what he would say. That's what he would say. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's my own mm. observation. So he will feel that she, like she can't endure. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, so, she so want the it. way we deal with issues just tells us what would, you know, for people with you, they determine, it's how you deal with present issues. They determine sort of your character and things like that. But I'm saying also, this would make for a very interesting story in the future when you're telling your grandchildren, ah, oh, do you know we didn't get married the usual way? We had to do it via video or blah, 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 because well, you of have this. your own money. Yes. Nothing, because the truth is that and you if, you, if you do your registry wedding, like YK said, or the Zoom wedding, Many of us don't have that money to do the big weddings. It's all uncles, aunties, mommies putting money together. Once you do your Zoom wedding, the possibility that those people will gather around and give you money for a party is very slim. They won't, they will, you will just have what you have. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the fear many are having that, you know what, let's, let's just, let, let's not even do anything at all. Because if we do anything at all, there's a possibility that they will not give us the money well, for the turn party. Well, turn that fear to a virtue or a, 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 a good thing because really what is most important, you shouldn't have, I remember those, <laughs> let me not say, it's someone took like an SOS around this particular area asking for people in the community to put money towards his wedding. I thought it was, I thought it was crazy. I mean, it's your wedding, it's your wife. I'm not going to be there with you. Do your little thing but, and have, you know, and have little thing but, and have, you know, and have pride in what you have and who you are at every point this in is time. Where I, this is where I see that, um, that, that, that blurred line between us being Western and being African. Okay. Now, what, what we hold dear to us as Africans is that we, are, we, we like the community, uh, we, are, we, we like that um, family bonding, it's, it's not about you, everybody comes together. In this situation, if we apply that African culture that we all try to take pride in, we would advise that child to wait that girl to wait that, you know what, let's all be together. This is something that everybody, your auntie from Kineko must be there, your lagbaja from Kineko must be there. Mm. But now, with that, with that blood line of, oh, I want to be Western, no, it's about you, it's just you and your husband, don't worry about anybody else, just just do your Zoom wedding and that's it. No, no right. that's, that's not our culture. It's not about Western. That's not our culture. No, our culture is I don't is agree with you. It's family. not about, it's not about, okay. It's not actually, I don't agree with you, it's not about being Western and being just on your own. Okay. In this case, it's about materialism. To be honest, even in the times where we used to be together, we were together based on what we had. Family members did not go to other family members to ask them for their, so that they can have their kind of wedding. We're actually, what we are doing right now, all the white weddings and things, that is the westernization. But what Zoom is doing is only stopping us from being together because of an illness that, or our a real, virus. Our real wedding is, is traditional. to bring people together. Yes. yes, and we're doing that where technology now because of the time. So it's not being Western actually, it's even more African to do the Zoom is what I'm saying to you. Okay. Because well, when more people would have done it by themselves, they don't even need anybody on Zoom to look at them. That's what I'm saying. Right, do, you, right, do you get what right, I'm saying? Right. We need people to see us. So the Zoom is even more African well, the beauty, than Oyimbo. The beauty of a wedding, YK, is that we all eat, we celebrate, we marry, yes. family, you love ones, Look, I personally, I personally, yeah. I have missed weddings. Yes, so. Because my partner and I, we like to dress up, especially me, I dress up and wear my. Yes, like now. Yes, now. You can't take that from us. Yeah. Zoom, I will enjoy Zoom will the not take party. that from us. Please, pandemic cannot take that from us. So, what are you going to break? Let's go on a break. Zoom, go on. I will hold this girl to this picture. What will, will you do in a pandemic? We'll go on a break. We'll come back and have this conversation. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on the topic of what the what the, the bride or the groom should do, especially the when they planned their wedding mm. during this pandemic. We're going to find. No, I was going there. to. There was one tweet, tweet I um, saw yesterday or so. The guy was complaining that he went and bought a show a B of sixty five thousand. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. And now two years later. The couple are no more. Be two years, I be one year later, yeah. they are no more. Mm. But are they going to refund his 65,000? <laughs> but from now on, before he buys any assurance, he be, he's going to ask the couple to sign contracts. Yes. But mm. If you break up, you return my, my money. money. Because so <laughs> they, they, this is just going to show, because I have this belief that it is only the people that wish me well that I want to be at mm. my wedding. Yes. Because how many people will sit down there and say, hmm? See the dress, see, see what she's the food. Yeah. Look at, see the shoe. Why are you worried about that, though? That's life. No, no, no that's what she's saying. Just kind of people. Uh, surround yourself uh, with... Why, why are you at my wedding if you're going to be criticizing exactly. me? Exactly. <laughs> no. The Bible says, set the table for me in the presence of my enemies. They have to be there. What are you talking about? They must see that God has blessed you. <laughs> they must see that God has promoted you. But they are you. not blessing you while they're sitting there. No, they are there to they are, they, are, they will be saying, uh, no, my name. Yeah. They, in fact, they will even try and chase your husband. Hey, YK, well, no. that's extreme. Ah, okay. That's extreme. Five. But let's <laughs> take this call. Let me take this call because we're going to wrap up on this topic. We have another topic to take. Hello, are you there? Yes, good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Joe Bola, calling from Lagos Island. Uh, yes. First time caller. So, welcome to the show. Uh, actually, my wedding ought to come up um, this Saturday, 30th of May. Oh. That's why I decided to call in, into this program. Right. So what are you guys doing? Yeah. Well, I postponed it. Okay. To when? Yeah. What I actually wanted to say was that, uh, okay, for instance, now, I have over 50 as maybe with me in my house. 50 okay. okay. My mom has the same in her house. Um, same goes for my fiancé. What do we do? Mm. So um, what I'm trying to say is that postponing wedding depends on the families. So we can't just judge that um, we should use the Zoom um, network to, to, to organize the wedding. To, to me, it's, it's not done. Okay. I've paid for musicians, we've paid for all, we've paid for so many things. We can't just forfeit everything like that. Okay. Um, I you understand? Say, yes. I'm so happy. I am from Lagos Island, my people. So yeah, we are, we are in this thing we together. We understand. There, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm just, I'm so happy that you called. I want to see if this question is too personal, please do not answer it. So while you're waiting, because for a lot of things, even the government is saying we need to be patient. There's no definite date on the end of these things. What happens to you and your fiance? Are you going to be fiancés for a year more? two years more, um, are you going to start living together and then do just a quiet ceremony and then do your party no, actually, later? Actually, what we're planning is, you know, just holding something small, maybe we just, uh, maybe a court wedding. So we're still waiting for the um, June 1st announcement or something. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're waiting for. After that, we can now do the main party later on. They, they call it to me, oh. What was that? Yes, yeah, kind of. Carry me again. So that's what we're, that's what we're waiting Carry for me. now. Yeah. So let me just ask about the, the halls. Um, so are you talking to the, the hall owner? Would they allow you to pick another date to, for the wedding? The caterers, the money you've paid the caterers, are they, are they, are they holding money. on to that money or they're going to give you stories that the money has been spent or something? I mean, are you following up with your vendors and all that? Those have you paid for the wedding? You know I'm the man, so the woman, uh, the no. family oh, wife. has, yes. uh, you know, she understands. So yeah. I don't really know much about that. Right. But one thing I know is that we, we will definitely choose another date. Mm. They can't forfeit okay. the date. Okay. Okay, well, that, that's fair enough. Thank you so much for calling this. I think calling this, you know. it, it must be so disappointing for the bride, though. You have yeah. been looking forward to this uh, fantastic uh, wedding, wedding. Zoom wedding, your dress. Yeah. No, Zoom. Zoom, I will never. Like, Zoom, like, God. God. So what will you people God do? Zoom, be? Zoom, okay, see, before we went, God forbid. Before we went on break, I was asking you, so what do we do? Exactly we what we do. We pick a new date. When? Like my uncle okay, right now say, was supposed to be 70 say. in April. Mm. My uncle Elijah Waidi. So it's going to be 70 of next course, April. Of course, we, we are picking a date. Maybe September or November, we'll pick a date. And we'll be a okay, party. that's the thing. We're making decisions. Sure like we're making, de <laughs> we're making parties, decisions no. of no, on, on certainties. <laughs> Shouldn't we make the decision based on what is certain? So we are hoping against hope. We have faith. That's yeah, the we African faith. way. We have faith. We have faith. Oh, Lordy. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll okay. talk about something else. <laughs> so our conclusion. Okay, go ahead, Waiki, very quickly. 
everything must be low-key during this period. She has to come to terms with it if she really loves and understands the situation on ground. Um, couples who want marriage are, get, are getting married. Those who want wedding can, can, can wait for COVID-19 to end. I believe COVID-19 will revolutionize the wedding mentality. Mm. Well said, at Marianne Longe. You have, this is Andrew from Setham. Mm. You have literally answered the question. I am asking, is it the Ashwebi and parties that matter? I mean, love between the couple. Please, let's compartmentalize this issue. There's a love part, no doubt. There is the Zoom. You can do Zoom. Me, I'm not against the Zoom. I can, under I can understand you if you do Zoom. Me, personally, I wouldn't do a Zoom because I know the kind of family I'm from. I can't tell Fuja family or Akaba Shoro family that, eh, eh, we want to do Zoom. <laughs> I even want everybody on my birthday. There's a Zoom call. I said, don't Zoom, zoom call me. me. If you Zoom call me, I will not answer. Do so, not depends zoom on the call family me. you are from. You know, and if you guys Zoom is okay for you, go ahead. But if Zoom is okay, please zoom pick another way. Yeah, another day. I, I, I saw one come. guy that was 60. I know him. Mm. He had a Zoom. Can he, oh, by himself, he was just dancing in the sitting room. I was just like, ah. <laughs> <My show>. <laughs> <laughs> Loneliness. <laughs> Let's oh, go on the break. When we come back, we'll move on to another topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. Before we move on to the other topic, let's take a few tweets from the previous one. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, Billy Kiss says, this is how we know our folks have misplaced priorities. <laughs> the, though the guy losing interest isn't totally excused, but the wife, to me, isn't re reasonable. Mm -hmm. They could even postpone and have what we call to make bay, renewing of vows. She shouldn't delay their wedding. Stephen, Umoru 9 says, which Zoom with poor network in our country? Mm. <laughs> and then Mr. Deborah says, traditionally, we're inclined towards having large gathering of well-wishers to celebrate with us whenever we have a landmark event. But times are changing, and we have to readjust and think about the way we do things. I do not see this change quickly, though. Mm. With Mariah and YK, I don't <laughs> see this change at all. <laughs> no, yes, we see, because party rice is different from home rice. So the kind of rice you cook for, the, for plenty of food. It's sweeter. <laughs> and that one you cook in your house and say, want to do Zoom party. What rubbish? Zoom, you mean I will dress up, I will get gaily, eh. and then be looking at a phone? Eh? It's like, not possible. Like, no, it's not. It's not possible. It's not. Yeah, and but... I, I, like they say, poor network. I was having a Zoom meeting yesterday. The, the line was really crack. crack, crack. <laughs> so the only thing the man say, I do. Maybe he did. Maybe say, he, I fell asleep during the meeting. The man will not say, I do. You know what he said. No, please, you say uh, you, you The must. bride would know that he has said I do. Okay, because they are together. Uh -uh. Mm. <laughs> I beg, I beg. You guys are going to be on business the, with the, the wedding. What is the enjoyment in Zoom party? There is no still, enjoyment. Still with Me, people. when I get to the party, yeah. uh, first I would have drank, mm -hmm. sit down, then yeah. they give you a glass of water. Yeah. 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 Drink your sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I bring in the bring and in the sounds, the sounds are booming. Yeah. The next thing is to bubble. No, okay. why? Uh. Okay, they bring in the small chops first. <laughs> they now do tapioca. Uh. They now bring in fruits. Uh. They now bring in the rice. And they bring in your father. And they bring in jam chips. They now bring you grilled fish. They now bring you grilled. After the first 10 minutes, I'm bored. Oh, no. I'm bored. Uh, not, I've it, had the conversation. Because, but I have to you. you. you I yeah. just, it's time to move. You know, because maybe she goes to parties that her husband's meet at there. I'm sure your husband is enjoying himself there. Because I don't even know. Because, uh, no. I don't you know. Because I don't know how. No, That's I don't fine. know. The conversation is... What conversation? It's not really about conversations. Yes, you, you, you don't want said, to dance. It's about the show. Oh, look at my look at yeah. my very big game. Yeah. My very you don't want big. to dance. Yeah. And then hey, you drink and when drink they and start drink with and... the music, you don't yeah. dance. So, uh, and Bob, the hall is usually so packed full. There's no space That's to dance. That's a beauty, sweetheart. Where's That's the beauty? beauty. It's, it's so disorganized. And dance. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and you want to go and be walking let's about let's that. move on. So finally, let's conclude on this one. So finally, what we're saying is that if you want to do Zoom, if you're in the Mariam space, please do your Zoom. And then if you're in the Moraya White space. Space, please wait. Wait, wait, then, wait then three years or five years. Corona will soon go. Waiting. Let's believe our God that Corona will go soon. <laughs> and even if Corona doesn't go, you wear your face mask. Be like you wear face mask to enter party. No yeah, problem. Yeah, you have seen the pictures with the gender yes. and then the face mask. Face mask. mask. So we match. just invest in the. The way you are want to Ooh, get for shrine. The way you are drinking your champagne, then you lift up your face yes, mask. Yes, you drink the champagne. And put it back. Oh, no, no, you invest in sanitizer, the yes. party, that thing that you want to. I want to buy for shrine, uh -huh. so yes. that you yes. wash yourself before you enter the party. Everything you I, I, as you, the cost of weddings go you do conducive times one hundred to your society. Yes, Zoom is conducive to your both society. Yes, because Let then me, they don't even like them. They don't like to even touch them. God bless you, Aki. <laughs> Let me take this call from Austria. I think. Good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. 
Yeah, I was just following your program. Yes. Okay. Yeah, about this, uh, the effect of COVID-19 on parties or, or marriage. Yes. Like the last class said, depends on the situation. Like for us here, yeah, I was I have a date, I have a date for my child child education at that day. Okay. I should be as already be sold. Okay. Everything is ready for the fifth July. The hall is paid for. The curator will pay for. We give the advance. So that the difference is over here, the the hall. When they saw that the government here said, as from August, only 150 people will be allowed in, in any garden of a source, they called us and gave us the money. Mm. Date, because our date is July, and official date for uh, government meeting uh, mm. uh, of a bank, August, and it's not even guaranteed. Mm. But the truth is that people lose a lot of things, a lot of money. The Nigeria president will give money, advance for the dedication. She never wanted to refund the money. She took 50 euro, <laughs> 50 euro out of the advance that people paid. Why the official the, the hall, the, 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 the not is taking place, our money was refunded. There should be so many people are calling. What we get to happen to this party? I should be okay. It's about 50,000 naira. Hmm. What is going to happen to the to the HIV? Hmm. To them. We are waiting for the government decision, and we are trying to make it next year. Most of them, they completed, and we are waiting for the, the present situation. And maybe July next year, we are, we are, we are targeting out to, to do the party. Depends on the people you are inviting, the, the, the audience and the family also. But this one is a single family, we are together, <coughs> and friends. So they are all the other two. And the awareness of the issues of COVID-19 right, makes right. people to understand that, yeah, this is what I are making. And they are waiting. We are all waiting also. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, it's a different thing. I know. Like wedding, but it's not easy for after the couple wedding to to do wedding on Zoom. It's more possible. Consider it's the crowd, the people that are coming, and the tradition also. And different Thank you very also. much, Francis, so, for your thoughts on project. this. <laughs> I just want to yeah. come on. Francis yes. was talking about child dedication. Yes, we was talking about child dedication. Yeah. And the whole and wow. Yeah. Up on <laughs> says, can can. Can you zoom all the tubers of yam, <laughs> gallons of oil, bride price, and all the traditional things to, to the village people? Exactly. Zoom wedding is for white. They don't do traditional weddings Simple. like us. Yes. Ah. Please, you are very correct, Mr. I like that too. Mr. Correct. Lawrence. Yes, very correct. correct. Because you can't, don't, please, okay. Uh, this is what I'll say to Nigerians. Are, are you I going to zoom the traditional no, no, I get it. But you know what? Do me one favor, Nigerians. Get the vaccine for coronavirus, and then you can have all the party you want. So let's, you know, let's get thinking. Let's not just be talking. Go and get, be working on vaccine quick, quick, quick. Because this thing affects us now, more now, than anybody yes, else. Yes, now. So make sure you are getting that. The PTF chairman said that, he said it yesterday. Yes, so he said three now. That there are three that they are working. On. On and if we have it breakthrough, <laughs> Nigeria is back to normal. Yes, so okay. because already good. in our minds we are in normal mood. <laughs> it's just that physically we cannot be normal. Let me take this call. Oh. Hello, are you there? I'm there. Oh. Thanks, oh, Macaulay. Go ahead, please. I'm good to see you. Yes, I'm good to see you. You see, culture is dynamic. Hmm. Culture is dynamic. So we have to understand, if, yes, we will not get into it easily, but we're going to have to, you know, over the next couple of years, as the world grapples with this virus, we're going to have to be able to manage our social engagement, mm. even at the family level, in, 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 particularly in Yoruba land. Family, no man, is not yeah, just one person. You are exactly. not just married to one another. Exactly. You are also married to one another's family. Right. Hmm. Is, I mean, so that um, social family, social uh, engagement is, is necessary. But we can do that one after the other. Maybe you go visit me and all that. We're going to have to culturally contextualize our social engagement. Hmm. Well done, YK. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody was saying that. I was reading somewhere. Someone was saying that. 
can have a party, you can actually have clusters of parties. So maybe you can have in one auntie's cluster, you can have maybe 50 people there, I should be, you attend, there'll be a small caterer there. So you opening yourself so to you, risk. All of, no, no, the point, no, no, no. You're not going to be going no, around though. No, you no, have no, clusters, so the, 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 the you be a, and groom. No, 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 you're going to this cluster. Yeah, you're both, you don't <laughs> be going from like one cluster to the other, you will be opening yourself to risk. Then they will not leave you with coronavirus. Then they will not move. Hey, I don't even understand how we are. People have <laughs> done it that we cannot get to a second topic. Now we can't. Now say, there's no second topic. <laughs> Nigerians get a vaccine so that you can live the sort of life that you we are want. working on. It, but while the vaccine is still not done, stay in your houses. There's something I saw recently. Mm. You know, Oyinbo people. You know, they hear word. They are mm. old people are not meant to hug. You know, each other. Uh, each other. Mm. So one, some families created a I bag. Saw that. You saw it. Yeah. So like a. a, a plastic bag yeah. with arms in it. So the grandmother will put her hands Aww. through. Then the grandchildren will nice put their hands through and hug them. You people, with, when you are thinking that way, <laughs> then we can understand these parties you're talking about. But until then, stay in your home. Are you saying we should wear nylon bags now? To yes, wear. You know, oh my goodness. You know. <laughs> Man, you are in your Oh, look at it. Like it. That's, a good, that's a huge business. Nylon bag. Nylon bag, Ashwabi. Wow! I reject it. You don't put it. The color is yellow. <laughs> over, <laughs> over green. You, you don't put like your number. I showed you. I showed you pictures of how my daughter dressed to <laughs> to the hospital. Yeah. I wish she was going to buy a cake for her yeah. her son. I was just having. Let <laughs> me take this call from Yakub. Yakub, are you there? Yakub. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Good morning. To morning, you. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mora, I think uh, I will go the way that Miriam go this morning. Okay. You see, <laughs> if you want to do it this time around, you can do it, you and your father, your mother-in-law, maybe four of you. Four, four people is okay. okay. Four. And then put postpone the wedding, see, not even December, not even November of the thing. It can be next month. Why am I saying so? Nigerians are telling us now that they are working on three things. Possibility that maybe it will be cure for the COVID-19, God willing. If not even fighting, if we need drugs, if it is a drug, and the Nigerian government tells us that this is a drug. If you have COVID-19, you have coronavirus, whatever you take this drug, it is, you are okay by it. People will go to the wedding and then they will have it at the back of their mind, even by contact this from wedding. Get it back to my house, I have this drug to take. So you can continue your wedding from next month, but failure to give us either spicy, either, either coffee or organic that lying down in Abuja, refuse to send it to NAFTA, either any other thing that Nigerian citizens are working on. You feel so giving not any cure, not. You feel so giving not any cure. I think the wedding should postpone the eternity until we get it. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jacob. Let's take a few tweets, Mikey. Um, I mean, yes, we see at the same time in, in being responsible. Yes, let's, let's, let's be sure that we're responsible, responsible in this conversation. Yeah. We understand the responsibility to keep safe and not spread the virus. Very yes, important. Very we're important. not saying that go out during COVID. No, we're, we're saying not. that we are waiting. If you have to mm. wait in, we believe in the culture of having that party, having that big party. Mm. And we say that if, you're, if you, if you want to get married, you can do your Zoom when if you choose to. If your family cannot wait, that's fine. Mm. But do plan to have that party at the, that, yeah. that big wedding. And Winter. even if COVID is not out by then, if you have your face mask, wow. do the, the guidelines, wash your hands before you enter the party. The plastic get bag, your, that should be. I don't know about plastic bag, that should be. <laughs> But if we take all the safety guidelines, yeah. we should be allowed to have our party because the truth is that it's part of our culture. And, and I agree with the other caller that culture is dynamic, it has to change. We, not, we need to now review Fine. it and see how best can we review this culture in, in these times, which, is, which makes sense. It, it makes sense. But at the same time, hey, let's take a beauty to So Mr. PJ okay. Comedian mm -hmm. says, see, we can do party in a very big hall. That will normally take 200 people. I invite only 50 guests and do social distancing. Yes. Everybody will be well spaced, simple, yes. until they take five glasses of champagne and then. <laughs> my own party was like 2,000 capacities. So, when my husband entered that hall, yeah. he was like, What is this? Because he could literally count his family members. Okay, one, two, three, four. He, like he knew where yeah, they were. My you people, were. what? The whole of Lagos. Full ground. <laughs> Ah, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Please oh, go God. ahead, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, um, so, uh, Suleiman Abiodun says, if I am to spend 15 million on a wedding and due to the coronavirus I spent 200, I can use the money for something productive in our lives after the marriage. Marriage is important, not the wedding. Mm. Um, 
Bolaji Oladi Meji, I have to read this one. It says, kudos to the initiator of this program. It espouses professionalism, <laughs> entertainment, and information oh, yeah. exhibited you. by the three musketeers. Oh, <laughs> <really>. <laughs> Mr. Thank PJ you. Comedian mm. lastly says, you guys are party rockers, Joe. <laughs> it's people like you that light up the party. Yes. Zoom is artificial party, Jare. Yes. Thank Parties you. can be postponed. It's about real connection and our data network connection will just be breaking anyhow. And mankind <laughs> says, I bought Ashoibi 35K. Just last week, my guy oh. texted me the Zoom ID for their wedding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him to just refund my money. <laughs> Come collect his, his cloth. <laughs> Man, but I, we did. Yeah. Yeah. They said to since. Yeah, we, have, we have to go. But I must end with this because I know that when we were planning our wedding and my mother was doing all the ah and was locked down Lagos, Mazwan said, it's not about the wedding, it's about the marriage. Mm. And he prayed. In fact, he went to God and said, you know, this family, you they are doing all this wahala. Me, I only care about my marriage. Mm. Let, 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 so in all the fanfare that we'd like, mm. let's ensure we have this fruitful and successful marriage. That's more important. Okay. And if you do, if you, if you do that, you, you cannot put things in proper perspective. Okay, do I need this big fertility now? Or can mm. I postpone it to later? Yeah. So even in all the fun talking, understand that there's wisdom in what we're saying. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's mm. all we can take on the show. Uh, have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.